Hello everyone. Welcome to Nesso Academy. In the previous lecture, we understood relational operators in C++. We got to know that with the help of a relational operator, we can compare two values at a time. And based on the comparison, we will either get true or false as the result. Now we are in this lecture and the name of this lecture is logical operators in c++ in this lecture we will understand what are logical operators and what we can do with the help of logical operators apart from this we will also understand the relationship between logical operators and relational operators so without any further delay let's get started with this lecture and let's see what are the topics The first topic is introduction to logical operators. First I will introduce you to logical operators. Then we will move to the next topic where we will understand logical and operator. After understanding logical and operator we will understand logical or operator and logical not operator. After completion of these topics we will then move to the last topic of this lecture. where we will understand short circuit evaluation of logical operators so these are the topics we need to understand in this lecture let's start with the first topic that is introduction to logical operators so what are logical operators a logical operator is an operator which is used to combine boolean expressions with the help of a logical operator we can combine boolean expressions now what is a boolean expression a boolean expression is an expression that returns either true or false as the result so clearly with the help of logical operators we can combine expressions that return either true or false as the result so it returns either 1 or zero as the result so clearly a logical expression which is an expression involving logical operators also return a boolean value that is it either return 1 or zero as the result where 1 represents true and zero represents false mostly it is used to combine relational expressions with the help of logical operators we can combine relational expressions that is expressions involving relational operators so that's the relationship between logical operators and relational operators with the help of logical operators we can combine those expressions where relational operators are included and we already know that a relational expression also returns a boolean value so clearly a relational expression is also a boolean expression so we can combine relational expressions with the help of logical operators so i hope these points are completely clear to you now let's see what are the different types of logical operators we have in c++ there are a total of 3 logical operators we have in c++ The first one is the logical and operator which is represented by two ampersand symbols. The second one is the logical or operator which is represented by two pipe symbols. And the third logical operator is the logical not operator which is represented by a single exclamation mark. So these are all the logical operators we have in C++. we will study them one by one in the subsequent topics for now we are done with the introduction to logical operators now we are ready to move to the second topic where we will understand logical and operator which is the first logical operator we have so what is the logical and operator logical and operator is the operator which returns true if and only if all the operands are true otherwise it returns false so logical and operator returns true only when all the operands are true 
otherwise we will get false as the result. This can be understood with the help of the truth table of the logical and operator. Here is the truth table. Here we have these two operands A and B and logical and operator is applied on these operands. Now let us assume that A is true and B is true. Both the operands of the logical and operator are true, therefore we will get true as the result. This is what I have mentioned here. Now what happens if A is true and B is false? In this case we will get false as the result because if any one of the operand of the logical and operator is false, then we will get false as the result of logical and. Similarly, when A is false and B is true, then also we will get false as the result. And when A is false and B is false, then also we will get false as the result. I hope this is clear to you. So clearly, when both the operands of the logical and operator are true, then we will get true as the result. Otherwise, we will get false as the result. Now, let's demonstrate this concept with the help of a simple C++ program. Here is the simple C++ program. I have included the IOStream header file and here I am using stdcout. Inside this main function, I have defined this variable val of type integer with value 10. Here I have defined this if-else construct. Let me explain this briefly what if-else is about. With the help of if-else construct, we can execute a specific block of code based on the condition. The condition is provided to if. Here I have provided these two conditions and these two conditions are combined with the help of logical and operator. Now based on this logical expression, either this statement will execute or this statement will execute. If we get true from this logical expression, then this if block will execute, otherwise else block will execute. Now let's check these two conditions. Here we are using the variable val and we know the value of this variable is 10, so we can replace these two variables by 10. Now we are checking this condition is 10 greater than 5 and 10 less than 25. These two conditions are true. 10 is greater than 5 and 10 is also less than 25. Therefore, the result of this logical AND will also be true. That's what we have learned from the truth table as well. If both the operands of the logical AND operator are true, then the result of logical AND will also be true. So here we will get true as the result. This means this statement will execute and we will get inside if on the screen. Please remember, at a time, only one block can execute. Either it will be the if block or the else block. Here the if block has been executed and due to this reason we are getting this output. So with this we are done with logical and operator and this means we are done with this topic. Now let's move to the third topic where we will understand logical or operator. So what is the logical or operator? Logical or operator is the operator that returns true if at least one operand is true, otherwise it returns false. So it returns true when at least one operand is true. It is not mandatory that both the operands must be true. If at least one operand is true, then we will get true as the result. Otherwise, we will get false. This can be understood from the truth table as well. Here is the truth table of the logical OR operator. You can observe when at least one operand is true, then we are getting true as the result. When both the operands are false, then only we are getting false as the result. Now, let's demonstrate this with the help of an example. Again, I took the same example program with some changes. Here now we have these two conditions and these two conditions are combined with the help of logical or operator. We know the value of this variable is 10. So these two will be replaced by 10. 
and we also know that 10 is not less than 5 and 10 is also not greater than 25. So, these two conditions are not satisfied. They are false. And we know this already. If both the operands of the logical or operator are false, then we will get false as the result. So, from here we are getting false. And this means this time the if block will not execute, the else block will execute. And because of this stdc out, we would be able to see inside else as the output. I hope this is clear to you. So, with this we are done with the logical or operator as well. That is the third topic. Now, let's move to the fourth topic where we will understand logical not operator which is the last logical operator we have in C++. So, what is the logical not operator? Logical not operator is the only unary logical operator in C++. So, up to now, whatever the logical operator we have discussed were binary logical operators. They can operate on two operands. But this operator can operate on just one operand. That's why this is called the unary logical operator. It returns true when the operand is false and false when the operand is true. This can be understood from the truth table as well. Let's say the operand is A. Here the logical not operator is applied before the operand. When operand A is true, then not A will give us false. And when A is false, then not A gives us true. I hope this is clear to you. Now let's take an example. Here, I am checking this specific condition not well. We know the value of this variable is 10. So here we have not of 10. Now what is the meaning of not 10? Please understand that a non-zero value is treated as true and 0 is treated as false. So, whenever we have 0, this means we have false. And any non-zero value is treated as true. We know this value is a non-zero value, so this will be treated as true. And we also know that not of true is false, so we'll get false as the result from here. This means the else block will again execute and we will get inside else as the output. Now we are done with the logical not operator as well. This means we are done with the fourth topic also. Now let's move to the fifth topic to understand short circuit evaluation. So what is the concept of short circuit evaluation? And why do we need to understand this topic? Let's understand this now. Short circuit evaluation is the behavior of logical operators where only as much of the expression is evaluated as necessary to obtain the result. So, first of all, it is the behavior of logical operators, precisely the binary logical operators. That is, it is the behavior of the logical AND operator and the logical OR operator. So, what happens because of this behavior? Only a specific portion of the expression will be evaluated which is necessary to obtain the final result of the logical expression. In case of the logical AND operator, if the first operand is false, then the overall result is false. There is no need to evaluate the second operand. So clearly the second operand is not evaluated. This is short circuit evaluation. Now, let me try to explain this in a better way. In case of the logical AND operator, we already know that if any one of the operand is false, then the result will be false. If the first operand itself is false, then there is no need to evaluate the second operand because the entire expression will return false. So, it does not make sense to evaluate the second operand. So, only the first operand will be evaluated in this case and the second operand will not be evaluated. This is called the short circuit evaluation. 
there is the short circuit only a part of the expression is evaluated not the entire expression this is true when the first operand is false but if the first operand is true then we cannot say whether the entire expression will be true or false then it depends on the second operand and therefore we need to evaluate the second operand so that's why i'm saying that short circuit evaluation happens in case of logical and when the first operand is false now what about the logical or operator with logical or operator if the first operand is true the overall result is true so the second operand is not evaluated clearly we know this that in case of logical or operator there is no need to evaluate the entire expression if the first operand itself is true because if the first operand is true then the entire expression will be true no matter what second operand is so there is no need to evaluate the second operand so here we have the behavior of short circuit evaluation i hope this is clear to you now this is not true in case when first operand is false if the first operand is false then we don't know whether the entire expression will be false or true it can be true it can be false and it depends on the second operand therefore the second operand must be evaluated but here there is no need to evaluate the second operand if the first operand is true so here short circuit evaluation happens i hope this concept is clear to you to make it more clear let's take one simple example program within this main function i have defined variable a of type integer with value 5 and here i have defined this if construct only in this if construct i have provided these two conditions and have combined them with the help of logical or operator now what is this first condition here we have a equal to 5 we know that value of a is 5 so this means this condition is true now we know the first operand of the logical or operator is true if the first operand of the logical or operator is true then the overall expression will return true there is no need to evaluate the second operand this means behind the scenes a++ will not be evaluated and therefore this std c out will display 5 as the result this happens because a++ is not evaluated value of a is not incremented by 1 we know the entire expression is true that's why this statement will execute and we will get 5 as the result if you do not have any idea about short circuit evaluation then you may give answer as 6 because you may think that a++ will evaluate but that's not true here short circuit evaluation will happen only the first part of the logical or operator will get evaluated not the second part I hope this idea is completely clear to you now. So with this we have understood the short circuit evaluation as well. This means we are done with the last topic of this lecture and we are done with this lecture. Okay friends, this is it for now. Thank you for watching this lecture. I will see you in the next one.